What's up? My name is Matthew, aka EasyBot, and today I want to show you a simple arpeggiator technique I like to use when I'm in need of a little bit of inspiration or I'm just trying to make some techno. What I like about this technique is that it's really simple to set up and the results are very immediate and quite usable. This is a technique that you can use on any Electron box that has an arpeggiator. So the Analog 4, Digitone Keys, Digitone, and the Octatrack. If you're using this with your Octatrack, it only works on the MIDI side of things because that's where the arpeggiator exists in the Octatrack. It also is a technique you can use with the Bitwig arpeggiator too, if you want. What you need to do to get started is to pick a sound that you want to use. I often use this for making bass lines. So I have a really generic bass sound in my Digitone here. It's a patch that I use pretty often when I want something that sounds kind of like um, an analog synthesizer. Um, <laughs> it doesn't sound analog, but it's a similar timbre to it. After you've picked out your bass patch, what you're going to need to do is turn on your arpeggiator. So old function, hit synth one to go into your arpeggiator and just go ahead and turn the mode to any of the modes. It doesn't really matter at this point. So whether it's true or up or down or cycle, those are all good. Just as long as the mode is on. Then you want your speed at 1 slash 16 for what we're doing. So it's 16th notes. And then leave the range at 1. This is stuff that we can mess with later. But for right now, this is how we want to get started. So everything can stay the same. So go ahead and leave the arpeggiator and go into your step sequencer, put down a note, and then on that note, hold it down and go into your trig menu and give it the length of 16 steps. So now our trig length matches our arpeggiator steps. So we have 16 steps in the arpeggiator and we have this triggering for 16 steps. So maybe you're starting to get the idea here. So at the moment, this is what we have. Pretty simple. Now, if we want to just create something rhythmic right here, go into our ARP and maybe we could get rid of that one on the beat. We could throw a kick behind it. And that's already quite usable, right? So that's just one idea. Let's go ahead and turn that off here. So we can bring those steps back in. And uh, now here's the fun part. And this is what's so great is like, it only took us two steps so far to get this running rather than just like, you know, triggering all the steps in your sequence. We're looking at it from this perspective. And this is a different way of viewing your sequence than it is using the electron sequencer. So we can go over here, we can select different steps by using these arrows. Like I said, you can remove or add them with the down arrow, up arrow to bring them back. And we can offset them with the e encoder. And so now we already have something pretty usable. And I just think this is a lot of fun and really easy to work with. So now we could actually change the like length of the steps here by using the F encoder. And you can make some uh, polyrhythms. And this is something you can play with live. So that's really it. It's really just that simple. Play with your arpeggiator, basically. But all I have is just this one step. So if we start adding some notes to it, you can hold down this step and then hit the note button here, and we can add another note to it. So if we wanted, we could add a... Let's add this note, see what happens.
Now we have something even more interesting. So already I think you can see just how usable and fun and easy it is to make good sounding bass lines basically instantly. Just power on your Digitone and you're off to the races. It's really that simple. Another reason why I love the Digitone and it has continued to be one of the main pieces in my setup because there's just so much that it can do. All right, so let's explore another idea. So say we take this arpeggiator, but we don't do a bass line. Maybe we want this to be a melodic track. I'm gonna take this piano patch I have and I'm gonna put it on two different tracks. I'm gonna pan each one far left and the other one far right. And I'm gonna use the arpeggiator on both of them to make a sequence and um, have them play together. I'll turn the arpeggiator on, put this at 16. Put down a step, trig length 16. And I'm gonna copy this track, go to this track and paste it. I've already put the sound on the other track, so we're good to go. And go back into the arpeggiator, all right. So here's the first arpeggiator. It's panned far right, this one's panned far left. track, maybe we'll do the bass arpeggiator trick. this uh, four bars long. That's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little demo tutorial on using the Digitone arpeggiator as your sequencer. Like I said, this applies to the Digitone, the Analog 4, and the OctaTrack, and any other device that has a arpeggiator similar to the Electron arpeggiator. My name's Matthew. I will see you next time, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the video, join the Patreon, check out the Zip profile, and join the Discord and hang out with all of us folks there. I'll see ya.